Hello, I'm Steve Parola from New England Ropes. On today's video, we'll be talking about mechanical advantage, particularly mechanical advantage using pulleys or blocks. Pulleys or blocks come in many styles. We have a high strength marine type pulley here. We also can utilize safety and rescue style pulleys. This particular one is an easy open pulley, so it's what we'll be using in our test today. Pulleys can have a single shiv, you can have a double shiv, even three and four shifts in your pulley. As part of our test, we'll be using a digital scale to see how much force is applied to lift a weight. We'll be using a 20 pound weight and of course some low stretch polyester rope. So we'll start by weighing one of our weights. We have two identical weights. And as we put it on our scale, we can see we have approximately a 20 pound weight. To demonstrate the concept of mechanical advantage, we've set up a test with two configurations. The first configuration is a simple redirectional pulley system, where the second configuration will be a mechanical advantage. In a redirectional system, you have a fixed pulley with the line coming from your load through the pulley, and then you can apply your force. And it's simply redirecting how you're applying the force, be it from this angle or straight down. We attach our scale to it, we will see that we've redirected the force and we can now pull down to lift the weight up. For every foot you want to lift that weight, you pull one foot. And as you can see from the scale, it is the same load. We've just redirected the force. So now let's look at mechanical advantage. Here in our mechanical advantage system, we have our pulley attached to our load. And it is a moving pulley because it's moving up with the load. The rope is attached to a fixed point, so we have a force coming, being supported through this line, and the force that we're applying on the other line. So it's a two to one mechanical advantage. So we should see half the force necessary to lift it than we did in the other load, other system. So we'll attach our scale and lift. And as you can see, half as much force is applied to lift the same weight one thing you'll notice in a two to one system. For every foot you want to lift your weight, you have to raise two feet. It's a two to one system, both in the amount of rope needed and in the force applied. In simple mechanical advantage systems, you can gain additional mechanical advantage by adding additional pulleys. In this assembly here, we have both our moving pulley down here at the weight and a fixed pulley. So we're applying our force here where I have the knot. It will go into the pulley and come out the other side, thus giving us a two to one at this location. Force wraps around and comes back and gives us a third force. So we will be able to easily lift. Obviously with a three to one system, you need three feet of rope to raise the weight one foot. Let's attach our scale and see how much force that was that's applied. And as you can see, the force is significantly less. Our 3 to 1 mechanical advantage system can be quickly and easily converted to a 5 to 1 mechanical advantage by adding more pulleys, or in this case, utilizing both shivs on our double shift pulleys here and here. Run it through. Additional times, we attach our scale and we lift. And as you can see, once again, we have reduced the necessary force to lift the weight. As in the past, since it's a five to one system, you need to pull on five feet of rope for every foot you want to raise the weight. A second type of mechanical advantage system is known as a compound system. In a compound mechanical advantage system, you have one simple mechanical advantage system pulling on a second one, thus increasing your mechanical advantage. Let's take a quick look at the simple system we saw earlier, the three to one system. As you can see, we're applying our force. It's going through our, our moving pulley, giving us a two to one advantage at this point. This single force goes up through the fixed pulley back down, giving us a third force. 3 to 1 mechanical advantage in our simple system. 
Next, we'll look at a compound system where we have one three-to-one system pulling on a second three-to-one. So here we have our compound system. We have our initial three-to-one simple system that we saw earlier. Pulley, force applied to it, that force is going back up. So we've got a two-to-one coming out. It's going through a double block here. But that first rope is coming back to our friction hitch. So at this point, we have a force of three. Creating a second simple system, once again, force of three going in to our pulley three coming out, so giving us six towards our weight, back up to our fixed pulley with another three, so three plus six for nine. Let's test this out with our scale. So we've attached our scale to our compound system, nine to one, mechanical advantage, and let's see how we do. To review the two systems we've seen so far, our simple mechanical advantage system and our compound mechanical advantage system, we'll go to the whiteboard here. Here was our three to one system. A force of one is applied, goes around the pulley so you have one coming out. These are additives, so that gives us a force of two coming out of the pulley. This force of one goes around through the fixed pulley, so it's a redirectional pulley, giving us one coming out. So this two plus this one equals three to one mechanical advantage. In our compound system, we have our three to one system pulling on another three to one system. I've separated our block into two single blocks to make it easier to see here on our whiteboard. So we have our first system with a force of one going in, going through the pulley, force of one coming out, giving us force of two coming out of the pulley. This force of one goes through the first fixed pulley giving us one coming down, two plus the one gives us three at this point past our friction hitch. The force of three goes to this pulley and comes out the other side as well, also three. This three plus this three gave us six coming out of that pulley. This three of course goes up through our second fixed pulley, comes down at a force of three, so this six plus this three equals our nine to one mechanical advantage. Our final type of mechanical advantage system is our complex system. As you know, our compound system was two simple systems working together in series, all the forces moving in the same direction. For the complex system, our pulleys are moving in different directions and at different speeds. So let's take a look. We have our force being applied here to our first moving pulley, which has a friction hitch to the rope. The force comes down through the second. This moving pulley here, our second pulley, back up a tap, combining with the friction hitch, and down again. So let's see how they move. And you can see how we had one pulley moving faster than the other. This particular system is a five to one. We've got here our regular two to one system with one coming out here, we end up with a three, three coming down. This was one coming out, making this a two to one here. So three plus a two equal to five. So why would you use a compound or complex system as opposed to a simple system and just add more pulleys? In a simple system with multiple pulleys, you need a lot of rope. In a five to one system, as we saw earlier, if you wanted to raise your weight one foot, you need to pull on five feet of rope. In a compound or complex system, we have friction hitches in our assembly. With the friction hitch, we can raise our weight a given distance, secure it, then adjust our friction hitches, and repeat, thus saving a significant amount of rope in the overall assembly.